Hello, my name is Ed Green. I'm here to talk to you about prohibited items or sometimes they call them disallowed items. There is a skill in telling people they cannot bring an item in. It doesn't matter what the item is. It can be food, it can be a knife, it could be a gun, or it could just be an oversized bag. But either way, if the venue says that these particular items cannot come in, our job is to enforce the rules. So how do you do it and get the best result? Whenever you have to tell someone no, one thing I try to do is put myself in their shoes. So what does that mean? That means just this. If they have a oversized bag, unfortunately the bag can't come in you should know what size can come in and be able to give the dimensions. That shows that you are in tune with your job and that you are the professional that you are. So you have to let them know, unfortunately, that bag cannot come in. And as I said, recite whatever restricted size that they tell you. So for some events, it may be 12 inches by 12 inches by six inches. On some of the events, it may be six inches by four and a half inches by one inch, but know the size. When you tell them they can't bring that bag in, give them options. They need to hear the options. Of course, the first option is always, you must bring that back to your car. But from time to time, they're going to say they don't have a car. Well, there's other options they can have. Uh, some places have a bend box or a locker system, which they can check it in. So you can give them that option. One option you never want to give them is to tell them to throw it away. If you tell them to throw it away, they're going to turn around and make us look like the bad guy. So be good at what you do. There are other things that you may hear like knives. Most venues will not allow knives of any size. If the knife cannot come in, you will hear a lot of things like that knife was given to me by my great uncle who fought in World War I. Well, unfortunately, an heirloom like that, I would be glad to tell them you would not want to bring it in this venue. Please take it back to your vehicle because I know how important it is to you. Knives and weapons is something that cannot be checked in at a storage bin or locker, so they must take that back. So when you're telling people that they can't take things back, as I said earlier, please put yourself in their shoes. A lot of times they have just come from work. Sometimes they forgot they may have even had that on them. So show empathy, but no sympathy. By showing the empathy, you're saying, hey, I understand, but unfortunately, these are the rules. One thing you must take in consideration, you cannot make the exception. If you make the exception for one, you should make the exception for all. And at that point, you are not a good security officer and you are not doing what you are paid to do. So just tell them, let them know with honesty and sincerity that that will have to go back to the car or go back to, you know, wherever they, some people get hotel rooms close to the venue, may have to go back there. So you have to have a skill. You have to be able to show empathy, as I said earlier. Disallowed items can be challenging, but as a security officer, that is the time where you have to stand fast on what your belief is and let them know it cannot come in. So, thank you very much. My name's Ed Green.